Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is Divine Balance. My name is Carmen. I'm going to be doing a reading for the month of December. This is a general reading for Taurus. Please um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Switch the roles if you have to. Do not pay attention to the cards, the gender of the cards. On the card, excuse me. We are a masculine and feminine energy within ourselves, okay? Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for when I upload. I'm also available for personal readings um, until the 17th. After that, I will be closing it again so that, um, you know, for the holiday, and then I'll open them up again in January. All right, so. Let's see what's going on with my Taurians for December. Taurus, 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 Taurus. What's happening with Taurus for the month of December, Spirit? This is just for Taurus for the month of December. Ooh. This is just for Taurus for the month of December. So far, you guys may be uh, meeting your soulmate. If you're already with your soulmate, they may be proposing from based on that hand right there. Oh. Family. You guys may have family coming in town. Spending time with your family. Some of you will be going in solitude. Take some contemplating and thinking. Taurus for December. Taurus and December, please. Had balancing the scales but it came in it flipped in reverse so scales may be out of balance right now you may be you may be feeling out of balance at this time okay then we also have metamorphosis some of you may be going through some serious changes right now this could also be somebody around you bottom of the deck is barrier so you might be feeling a some of you may be feeling a little guarded defensive possibly don't know but let's keep going so some of you are working on yourself some of you are going to spend family spend time with family some of you are going to make necessary changes go in solitude to think about the necessary changes because you are out of whack some of you may be meeting your soulmate <laughs> who knows maybe your christmas gift you never know all right messages for Taurus for december Ooh, okay Messages for Taurus in December. Messages for Taurus in December. Messages for Taurus in December. Okay, so we got Into Me, I See, which is beautiful. You'll be focusing on yourself, which is also a great thing, always. Some of you will be dabbling in earth magic, possibly grounding yourself, doing things with, um, you know, the soil and plants or something like that. Some, some of you may be doing some little earth magic. Just make sure it's not dark. Some of you will also be healing the heart, which is probably why you're going to be in solitude. I totally understand that. And then at the bottom of the deck here, we got beautiful uncaging. So I feel like that's what the metamorphosis is about. You're pretty much going to open up and see your true potential self, which is always a good thing. So, I mean, working on yourself, that's cool. That was up. Oh, I forgot to do this with Capricorn. Guess I need it. Taurus for the month of December, please, Spirit. What is going on with Taurus in December? What's going on with Taurus in December, Spirit? What's happening with Taurus in December? Some of you may be communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. Probably meditating, talking to the universe. Taurus is coming in with Taurus in December. And look, 
expecting miracles, which is probably what that earth magic card is about. Miracles are blossoming in my life, most definitely. As long as you do the work, they'll continue to blossom. Bottom of the deck is following, following your bliss. My soul sings with joy. And it will if you go with the metamorphosis. You're about to get rid of a lot of things in your life. That's necessary. Quick messages about love for you guys. again soulmate some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate yes this is your soulmate if you haven't already met them they are coming okay and look look at the bottom <laughs> this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek so you know, some of you are being really lucky right now y'all got a little love coming in i ain't mad at you go ahead and get you some love for christmas a little more really nice at the same time, you know. All right. Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. December, please. Excuse me. Messages to Taurus. Taurus in December, please, Spirit. You got Nine of Wands and the Judgment card that came out together. So you guys are calling judgment on something that you need to either surrender um, or something that's made you feel defeated. Taurus. Taurus in December. Messages for Taurus in December. We got Seven of Cups. There's quite a few. You have quite a few options. Some of you are in some type of illusion. I don't know. Taurus. Uh oh. Two of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys' relationships could be ending. Two of Wands. Oh, sorry. Two of Wands in reverse here. Okay, wait a minute. I don't know. Some of you guys are thinking about the past mistakes that you made. Some of you are thinking about the past mistakes that you made that caused you to, to either be blocked or defeated. Two of swords here. Uh -huh. Somebody don't want to give up Hold here. Up. They want okay, that was very crazy. Um, yeah, spirits play too much. My phone was paused. I was listening to um one of my favorite readers. And it just started to play out of nowhere. Wow. Okay. So... <laughs> So yeah, there was a situation, um, there could have been a past situation that you're thinking about that uh, you went in the wrong direction and you may have made someone an option or you thought about other options to go to, which caused things to be, which, which caused things to end. So now you're, you're making this choice of whether or not you should, um, let it go, whether or not you should, um, fight for it or not. Kind of feel defeated. Definitely. Kind of feel defeated. You want to reconcile with this person as well. For some of you, I feel like you want to reconcile with this person. 
She says two of swords. I say two of swords in reverse. She's indecisive about it. But let's see. So you're not sure what direction you should go. You made this person an option, which caused them, which caused you to to let this person alone. And now you're sitting there thinking about the stupid decision that you made. The universe may be blocking you from this person because of the because you made them an option as well. the judgment and not the ones here. I'm hearing stubborn. You could have been being stubborn or the other person was being stubborn towards you. Why does judgment and not the ones here spirit? card you're, you're definitely calling judgment on the choice that you made you feel you, you feel defeated you feel like a wounded warrior what's the lover's card about spirit three of pentacles so it looks to me like you're just making you're making this choice to actually work on something you want to reconcile with this person What's this thing of pentacles about? Some of you may be trying to work on this for the sake of your kids. Um, seven of Cups may have made them an option. Yeah, like I said, you may have made them an option and you regret that shit. Communication may be coming in. Seven of Cups. So seven of Cups about. Mm, maybe some, some bad communication here. I said communication. I didn't say it was going to be good or bad. May have some bad news coming your way about this. Uh, page of Wands in reverse. What's the Page of Wands in reverse? Why is the Page of Wands in reverse? Good. You may have missed the opportunity. Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the um, Hermit in reverse. You may have missed this opportunity, which is why you're thinking about them and you're depressed. Which is also why you feel defeated. You don't want it to be over, but it is. Because it's the decision, it's the choice that you made. All right, what's the Seven of Cups? What options was here? Seven of Cups. You had an option of not juggling, but you did it anyway. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Chariot. Yeah, the travel towards this person. Six of Wands in reverse. You would, yeah, you. You are not getting any attention from this person. Or rather, actually, the person that you were seeking to get attention from, the person that you traveled towards, was not giving you any attention. Six of Wands in reverse. Magician and the Three of Pentacles. Someone was being very manipulative to try to get somebody to do what it is that they wanted them to do. So, this seven of cups could have also been you in an illusion. You had some, you were under some type of illusion or confusion um, where someone wanted to get you to work with them. Either you were under some illusion or you were the one doing the manipulating and, the, and putting them under some type of illusion to get them what it is that you wanted to do to work with them. I feel like... Based on this card, I feel like 
this could be you or the or the other person doesn't know what's happening like you don't know who was doing this but there's two other people that were doing this two of cups in reverse why is the two of cups in reverse two of cups in reverse there's three people trying to manipulate you Two of Cups in reverse, you got Eight of Wands and the Five of Wands. Someone, uh, there was too much conflict communicated between you guys. There was too much, I feel like he say, she say talk, all these different people, which caused you guys to end. Or you guys could have just always been arguing all the time as well, as, you know. But there's no confusion about what it is that you want. You're going to have your new beginning. You're going to have your wish fulfilled. Your wishes fulfilled while they go through karma. Eight of swords in reverse. Ooh, okay. This was it was a one angle and then it flipped. The world in reverse. So uh Y'all got unfinished business, though. Y'all may not be together anymore, but y'all got unfinished business. What's the world in reverse about? What's the world in reverse about? Yeah, there were some lies that may have been told about this connection. Lies may have been said. Lies may have been told. King of Swords in reverse. And that's the truth. <laughs> The truth is somebody lied and this is yeah somebody lied to the emperor which could be you that made this that made this connection end for some of you yeah um i think there was another party there's another person involved in this but somebody lied about the connection and it caused you guys to break up caused you guys to argue and all of that so somebody may have been doing magic in this connection to a long in reverse see you went a whole different direction and ended things with your two of cups and now you are heartbroken you're heartbroken and there is no legacy which is unfair to you or unfair to them take it how it resonates but there was an ending of a relationship but i feel like there was a person that manipulated it. They, they convince, these two convince this person to go with them, to work with them. It's like somebody kind of sets this person up. This is the innocent bystander. This could be you or it could be somebody else. But these two cause issues in the connection. They manipulated it. Three, two, of, two of cups in reverse. Why two of cups in reverse? Because of a queen of wands in reverse. See? Somebody vindictive. Queen of wands in reverse. The queen of wands in reverse. Knight of cups in reverse. This person is pissed off. The queen of wands in reverse could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Is pissed off. Because of this empress. Cutting them out. <laughs> That's crazy. So she was determined. She or he was determined to break y'all up. Damn. Six of cups. The six of cups in that spirit. Yep. Thinking about the lessons that needed to be learned in this situation. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Moving on. Moving forward. Maybe communicating with someone. Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands spirit? What's this Knight of Wands about? Knight of Wands, please. What's this Knight of Wands about? Star card. You could be hoping and wishing and praying for this person. Okay. So then we have the moon here in reverse. With the Knight of Swords. Excuse me. Moon in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse with the Fool card. 
So somebody's pretty much going to come out and tell the truth of why, why they did what they did. And, you know, they either going to take a leap of faith to speak the truth or they're going to tell the truth and they're pretty much going to look foolish about the situation. You didn't take it how it resonates. But the high priestess in reverse, they weren't they weren't thinking. They weren't thinking right. They were only thinking about themselves, which was very selfish. And the high priestess in reverse could also be knowledge, secret knowledge being revealed. Okay. So let's see what the witches got to say to ya. Somebody was involved in, in breaking this up, sir. Somebody caused some type of issue, either trying to get you fired or trying to end the relationship if it's a relationship. I'm just letting you know that. So, which is what are what messages do you have for Taurus in December? Messages for Taurus in December, please. Messages for Taurus in December. First of all, at the bottom we got bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. Universe, we're all just stardust. <laughs> Make your wishes upon the stars. Speak them into existence. They do happen. Spirits are all around you. And the clover card, which is release your guilt. Whatever it is that you did, don't feel guilty about it. Forgive yourself first before you can forgive others. Most definitely. Uh, but yeah. Taurus, that's your reading for December. I will be back for the second half. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for when I upload. Um, again, I am open for personals until the 17th. After that, I will be um, I will not be taking personals until next month. Um, and don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Bye, Taurus.